What's up plant family, Devin is here and welcome to this episode of Houseplant Essentials, getting back to the basics with 20 of the houseplants that I think are the best houseplants, most all around, easiest to grow and all offer unique characteristics worth bringing them into your home. Now in this episode, of course, we're gonna be talking about the snake plant. Now the snake plant or Dracaena trifasciata, formerly Sansevieria trifasciata, and its related species. There's about 70 different species of snake plants, including the whale fin, um, including the cylindrica, and these are the classic variegated, and the Dracaena trifasciata. Now these plants are native to the tropical West Africa region, um, which would be equivalent to zones 10 to 12 here in the United States. Now, what I love about these houseplants is their lighting is quite versatile. This is a houseplant that can do excellent in a very bright, well-lit area. And in very bright, well-lit areas, they will grow quite rapidly. And they also will retain a nice upright stature. However, they can grow perfectly well in rather dimly lit areas as well, including basements. As long as there's maybe one window, that should be enough. Or if you use that room, turn on the lights, regularly every day, that will also be enough. The one thing that may happen from more dimly lit areas is that sometimes the foliage may get a little bit floppy, like you can see right here, or as you can see with my cylindrica over here. The more light that you're able to provide, the faster they'll grow, the stronger upright characteristics they'll be able to provide as well. Now onto watering. They're also quite versatile when it comes to watering. However, if you do overwater them and you retain a moist, wet soil for too long, that is the number one cause for failure of snake plants and that can actually lead to a root rot which will decimate your plant. However, I know firsthand my uncle, he has a townhouse here in my town, which he will not be present at for three, four months at a time. He leaves it in his basement, no one waters it, and it's absolutely perfectly fine. So if you do tend to forget to water your plants regularly, the snake plant is a great option. Definitely, when growing your snake plants, always err on the drier side. My soils are quite dry all the time and they absolutely love it. Now also, in terms of containers, as you can see here, I typically prefer to keep them in smaller containers as that allows for more rapid drainage of water when you water it, allows the roots to dry out more quickly, and that's going to help it to retain that nice, healthy growth. So I always like to keep them in smaller pots and then gradually upsize them to slightly larger containers like you can see here. Now, the great thing about snake plants is that they will spread underground. So as you are transplanting them to larger containers, what they actually do, they send what are called rhizomes. Those are essentially roots that grow underground, but then they pop back up. And as they pop back up into the soil, uh, above the soil, they create new growth. Here you can see a wonderful example on my whale fin, exactly what I mean. Now, in terms of fertilizing, I find that you don't really need to fertilize any more often than once a quarter, about once every three months. If you're looking for a great all-purpose fertilizer, simply go to the description below and I'll put a link for my favorite fertilizer, the formula that I've helped create with my family full of micronutrients and macronutrients to provide all of your houseplants everything they need. Now, when it comes to uniquely using our snake plants in our homes, I love them. We have so many of them in our homes because as, this ver as they grow vertically, there's really no other plants like them. They provide an excellent contrast for some of our more rounded plants that we may be growing. And they're also the perfect plant to grow in our darker areas of the home, bringing life to areas of the home where we previously haven't been able to succeed keeping things alive. That's what makes snake plant an absolute winning house plant and a member of this houseplant essentials back to the basics list. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video about some of the quick tips keeping your snake plants happy, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel, especially if you're interested in learning all about the rest of the videos in this series. Anyways, thank you guys for joining me here on Plant Vibrations. I'll catch you soon. Ciao.